Steve Moore, someone the president wanted to appoint to the Federal Reserve Board. Now the president tweeting this, Steve Moore, a great pro-growth economist and a truly fine person, has decided to withdraw from the Fed process. Steve won the battle of ideas, including tax cuts and deregulation, which have produced non-inflationary prosperity for all Americans. I've asked Steve to work with me toward future economic growth in our country. A long tweet from the president there. Uh, feels like it might have been written by somebody. That's not his language all of the time. But this is significant in the sense that the president had two picks for the Fed. Herman Cain pulled out because he was clear he was not going to get Senate confirmation. Now Steve Moore pulling out because it's also clear he was not going to get Senate confirmation. Remember, the Senate is controlled by Republicans. Uh, the Senate Republicans in recent days have sent word because of things Steve Moore has written over the years about women um, that don't even try this, Mr. President. And clearly at the White House, they listened. Maybe and that's what Republican lawmakers have been saying, that the White House should do a better job vetting these people before the president just floats their names, because the, these people are out there, they haven't even been formally nominated for these jobs. Then they get criticized for things they've said in the past, things that they've done in the past, and then they get kind of left hung out to dry. It's happened with some of the people that the president has picked before, and um, Republicans are complaining that before they have to go through this and answer all these questions about someone who hasn't even been formally nominated, the White House should probably do a better job vetting and, before and, they... And Steve Moore complained about a smear campaign. There were 25 years of writings in which he criticized women athletes. He said women had no place doing this. Uh, there was an interview, I saw a clip of it the other day, where he said the biggest problem in the economy is declining male wages. Yeah, I mean, yeah. The, he has said though that, that a lot of this was in jest. I mean, what we've been hearing from the Senate is that they don't think it's very funny. Um, you know, the, and like you, like you said, there's a, there, this is now the second pick in a row uh, that, that's it's walked away from a, a very high profile nomination and a very important job particularly in this administration, particularly heading into this election. Right. Um, and uh, it, it raises a couple of things. One is, is it raises new questions, I think, about the, uh, about the process inside the White House. Sort of, there have been questions all along the way, but Trump, Trump has lost a lot of people. I mean, these are the kind of nominations that John Kelly would have said, well, wait a second, Here, here's, the, here's the paperwork, here's what the Senate is going to see, do you really want to do this? There, there are not that many figures like that left in the White House, not just John Kelly, but others who have left uh, post midterms. And, um, you know, Herman Cain said that this was about, uh, ab about you know, the pay, and he, he just realized that he was going to get paid a lot less than he, than he thought he was. Uh, you know, maybe he told more the, uh, what that salary was, and, and, and this is all just a. Uh, now this is also to the vetting point, it's mm -hmm. people in the White House who understand institutional history here in Washington in the sense that uh, Steve Moore had another problem. The reason is that Mitch McConnell and John Thune, le members of the leadership, have told the White House, uh, we cannot get Lisa Murkowski, Joni Ernst, who's on the ballot next year in Iowa, Susan Collins is on the ballot next year in Maine. Uh, we're not going to get their votes given all that he's written about, but this is inside, inside politics, if you will. Uh, Steve Moore, also a founder of the Club for Growth. Uh, which is a conservative group that often runs ads and campaigns against establishment Republican mm -hmm. candidates, including a lot of Mitch McConnell's friends. Uh, and so there's no reservoir of goodwill for Steve Moore, for Mitch McConnell to go to those female senators and other senators who don't like these writings and say, look, I need you to take one for the team here because Mitch McConnell is no fan of Steve Moore and what he calls the club for dopes. Yeah, I, that's the, the politics here were always bad. And for people like Joni Ernst, who are constantly getting questioned back home by liberal activists or why why don't you stand up to Trump for what he has done or said he has done toward women this is their chance to do that it's a, a, a smaller version of it but it's their chance to sort of stand up particularly on this issue and it makes it an easy no vote and I should note really quickly that Actually, Senator Mike Lee of Utah invited Stephen Moore to come to the Senate Republican lunch yesterday on Capitol Hill. He wanted him to be able to defend himself from these people who have been calling the White House saying, do not formally nominate this guy because we're not going to be able to back him and we don't want to have to answer questions about him. And when the White House heard about it, they scuttled that invitation. They told him not to go up there and they were advising him to keep a low profile instead of coming out and commenting on these mm -hmm. stories that were surfacing. But he was doing the opposite and actually did two interviews today with outlets. So Stephen Moore out. Now the president has two picks. Two picks. I suspect we're going to wait a little bit. I suspect they're going to do a little better vetting this time at the White House. 